Hello there and welcome to my cha 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 Trader Joe's channel. <laughs> so I do food reviews. I normally do them in the car, but it's dark outside, so I'm doing them in the house. This is the Trader Joe's Mushroom and Black Truffle Flatbed with mozzarella cheese. I do a lot of Trader Joe's products, so you may want to subscribe and look below the video because there you will see a list. Click on that list and it's tons of Trader Joe's products I've already reviewed. I'm always honest and blunt. I never lie anything. I don't care what the companies think. But this is what it looks like. And it said to... This is what it said, okay? So it said, um, remove flatbread from box, remove film, preheat the oven for 425 for 10 minutes, and then place it. So normally you preheat the oven and then you take it out of the freezer. So I guess in this retrospect, they want me to like let it thaw for a while. So I've already done that. I'm about ready to bake it, and then we'll get right into that. Now, I did take it out a little bit early because I didn't want the, the, the cheese on the top to get too, to get too dried out. So this is what it looks like. And I bake it this way, so that way, because I don't like putting pizza, like, on the metal thing because that way it kind of doesn't get crispy, so let's bite and see how crispy and tasty it is. All right, before I cut into it, really quick, I do this a lot in case you don't know, like, or whatever. To save on cleanup, you can take the box that a frozen pizza is in, open it up, and open it up like this, and then that way you can cut it on here, and all the crumbs and stuff is on the inside of the box, and then you just throw the inside of the box away. But I do the inside, you know, because the outside might have bacteria. Who knows what on it. But that's just another thing. And then also, most people use a pizza cutter, which I do. But sometimes, depending on the texture of a pizza, I actually use kitchen shears and scissors to cut it. So, it's a little FYI information. And then we're going to taste it. And I'm back. So, this is what it looks like. That's the crust. Can you see it? Definitely smelled the truffle. It smells really good. Crush is not crispy at all. Very chewy and soft. Can you imagine if I would have put it on a tray? It'd been even more less crispy, but it's not even crispy. The crust isn't bad, but it tastes kind of cheap. But it smells buttery. Let me see the other. I love the truffle flavor in this, okay? Like, it's perfect. But it's very, very buttery. It's really good. But if somebody gets missing something, I don't know what that is. I'm not saying that the truffle is overpowering, it's too strong, but it's very strong in a good way. Like normally I like truffle, but I can't have truffle too strong. This is like really strong, the smell. It's like, whoa, but it's not overpowering. I wish it was a little bit more cheese. And even though it's buttery, it almost seems light tasting. Like it's not very hearty. Mmm. I just got a crispy piece. If you get this, do whatever you can to make this crispy. Maybe put it to the bottom of your oven. Instead of boiling the top, like boil the bottom, for example. 
Mmm. I love it when it's crispy like that. I would definitely get it again. I think it's a decent pizza. I just think the crust tastes a little cheap. But that's up for it with the butteriness. I'm giving it a solid 8.9 out of 10. I like it a lot, and I'll definitely get it again. Please comment, like, subscribe, let me know what other foods you want me to try, but that's only to my subscribers. Don't forget to link below the video. There you'll see my Patreon where you can support this channel, as well as a link to all my Trader Joe's products that I'm reviewing now, will continue to review, and tons I've reviewed in the past. So until next time, have an awesome day.